Welcome back, Keepers of the Flame. We're on water signs. Hope you're doing fantabulous. Okay, let's see what Cancer got going on. The universe want Cancer to know. Okay, the three at the bottom are the Eight of Swords, the Two of Pentacles, and the Seven of Wands. You're trapped on a pattern here, so like you you can't really move. You either feel stuck like you're on like something that's repeating here. There's a pattern that you need to probably pay attention to. But let's see. You got the Two of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, stuck again. Page of Swords in reverse. Cups in reverse. And it's the one with the shark infested waters. Knight of Wands in reverse. Page of Cups in reverse. Knight of Cups in reverse. The Fool and the overall Eight of Wands. You got three eights here, Cancer. Do I need to remind you what the, the number eight looks like, darling? Okay, so you got a serious, serious pattern thing going on. I know. The number eight doesn't mean that. Okay, darling, whatever you say. But you have a pattern issue. Something needs to be definitely looked at and completely revamped here. See, the Eight of Wands tells me that you might be just flying by the seat of your pants here and not really, not really looking out for your own best interest, especially if you're in this energy, okay? If you're in this energy or you're putting yourself around this energy, okay? This, this King of Cups is toxic and the shark infested waters. So, upright, he could be a force to be reckoned with. In reverse, he's the wrong kind of force to be reckoned with. <sighs> you're not doing anything with this two of wands, though. Like, you're like, yep, yeah, stuck. You got, the, you got the world in your lap, and you're like, meh. I'm going to spread it out anyway. So weird. What is going on, Cancer? Okay. Knight of Wands in reverse. There's half your pattern. Ta-da! Okay, so you get that the in and out, not a good idea. You're not talking to your fishy friend, though. Okay, so this is a really cute Knight of Cups. She's singing you a song. But notice the instrument she's playing, darling. <laughs> Not exactly, not exactly an instrument. You really want to plug into an amplifier unless, you know. Cancer. Nice. If one sign should never get this type of card, it is you, darling. It is you. You already have your vast array of emotional waters to navigate. You don't need somebody else coming in and adding to those freaking emotions. You need somebody to look you in the face and be like, okay, I see you. Now, how do you feel? How you doing today, Cancer? And you ain't got nobody doing that. Okay. Okay. So patterns, let's look for the patterns. Woo! Seven of Cups in the reverses. You do have your head in the clouds, not grounded. But I'll add to it. Okay, can you get the Two of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles? Well, I'll show you, Ken Diamonds. Seven of Pentacles. Maybe you're still trying to mix it up. You're trying to figure out the ingredients. That's a good call, Cancer. You're trying to figure out what ingredients is going to benefit you most. Like... 
what do I need to really get this bread baked correctly to grow and furnish? You're really, this is, to me is like, you're, this is not bad energy. This is really good. You're staying in this. It's just, you got to cultivate it and kind of come to an understanding that you are the one who's involved in adding the ingredients to whatever this is. <laughs> Okay, so whatever you're putting up on your karmic cycle here has you in this. So, you just need to understand. You can change the ingredients at any point in time. Page of Swords and the Knight. They're not very happy about this King of Cups in reverse. Oh my God. Okay. So something got brought to light in the spotlight. Something was out in the open. So this might be like, uh, I don't know, your whole family knows, their whole family knows, the whole community knows, whatever the heck you're dealing with here. <sighs> Trying to fly over it. It's not working. Consulting with others. Careful. Careful. Careful when consulting with others. There's you. Beautiful. Not letting yourself get any rest. But you are coming to terms with that Ten of Swords and turning it into something. You're learning a lesson here. Nice. Learning a lesson that, you know what, maybe crying over those cups is not such a great idea. Maybe I need to be grateful. Maybe I just need to kick the dang cups over myself. This is Five of Cups, by the way. Get my unpolished fingernails out of your way. So I think this might be just like, woo, done, done deal. There it is. You're coming out clean. You're like, yep, I know my value system. I know what's in my heart. And I'm saying no to those emotional cups of BS. Nice. Okay. So then you've got the Knight of Wands and the Page of Cups. Okay. So this is, then you jump into the Knight of Cups and the Fool. What you doing, cats? What the heck? <laughs> You're doing so well. <laughs> okay. Knight of Wands and the Page of Cups in reverse. You see the cycle. I feel like you're starting to really analyze it and get it. Mm. Karmic cycle needs to be completed here. Something needs to come to an end. Ooh, so you can step into this glorious energy. Okay. Temperance, remain balance. Two of cups. Look at this. One cup, two cups. Boom shakalaka. What do we talk about? What is the lesson of the day? Turn your a little almond amygdalas to love. And then bring it here. And then bring it forward. Ta -da, da 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 Now what I'd really like to see for you, Cancer, is that nine of cups pop out. Because that means you're going to be in your emotional sovereignty as well, not just your material one. Knight of Cups and the Fool have five for cancer, please. Who knows? Maybe I'm totally wrong. You're supposed to pop out to pop out. Come on. Okay. Okay. We got the Hermit. Ooh. Oh, 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 see what hermit does? Step into the hermit mode. <laughs> Queen of Swords. Now, okay. Queen of Swords is not completely emotionless at all. She's just like, no, you're not. You're not doing this today, mofo. You're not playing on my heartstrings today. I got with myself. I bonded. Snake. Not a devil. It's fucking enlightenment. Okay. So she's getting with herself here. Not in a crooked way. She's analyzing what her enlightenment really means to her. What's on the inside of her and how it's actually serving her and how it's not serving her. And how she's going to... <clears throat> make this... A better cycle for herself. Okay. Okay. All right. 
So you've got the Queen of Swords with the Three of Wands in reverse. Ten of Wands, Six of Pentacles. Oh, sh Six of Cups. Okay. <laughs> okay, so there is something that's weighing you down and you cannot move forward. Again, this is the theme. Seems to be the theme of the, the, the read here. You, you're not moving. You're not going... There's no window under these umbrellas. There's none. It looks like she's in the clouds, but that's just you in your head. <laughs> Sorry, Cancer. You're standing there on the street corner holding all the things and dancing. <laughs> it's okay. You're going to get there. It's just, just going to take a hot second. Okay. So you got the three of wands. Not moving because this is holding you down. What is it? Again, it's breadcrumbing from your childhood. You think that these breadcrumbs are what love is. Don't look at me. Look at the cards. You think something from your childhood or something from your past is what love is. What giving giving and taking is. What it's supposed to be. So maybe you're starting to understand that carrying everybody else's burden puts you into not such a great situation. So you, I think you're starting to unravel what that means in your childhood. Da, 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 da. Dog snoring. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get your let's get your roots. The read here. What's up with the seven of wands in reverse with the eight of swords and the two of pentacles? Okay. Okay. Divine counterpart, Queen of Pentacles and the Emperor. Because you got the King of Pentacles here too for the divine counterpart. So um what I'm getting here is you're starting to understand how this works. You're you're getting it. You're getting the energy. You want to step oh, sorry, it was not upside down when we came up. You want to step into this, but you're being blocked by this cycle that you keep perpetuating yourself in. This this is you. Like, I'm, I'm not getting any outside sources. Maybe something from childhood is definitely coming in here. But unless I'm talking to a 13-year-old, uh, hmm, you have it. It's all you. All you, Cancer. Boom shakalaka. And you're learning to say no to those emotional cups of BS. So... Decide who lives here. Decide. What do you want? What do you feel like is going to lead you to the best place? And then put those feelings in a nice, lovely little container that you can dip yourself in at any point in time that you need them. But step into that word of the queen. of <laughs> Keep moving through this with this energy at the forefront. Okay, so you don't run into a situation where somebody gets to do this. Okay, this is night. This is in and out. Somebody's playing on your emotions and then leaving. Coming in, playing your heartstrings, leaving. Coming in, playing your heartstrings, leaving. Okay? Have the mental strength and fortitude to be like, no, you're not going to mess with my head, my heart, my nothing. I decide who lives here, darling. Okay. Oh, look at there, right underneath that card. Queen of Swords. Can't make this stuff up. Okay. All right, Cancer. It's okay. It's Capricorn season. Everybody's going through it right now. Everybody's going through it. And we're about, Saturn's about to go or just went into Pisces. So that might be why Pisces is having a hot minute too. So you, you're just going to have to understand that it's now in a water sign. So you're going to have to be more available to yourself to give yourself more of what you need to avoid, if you will, or try to navigate the waters more in a precise and um in a way that's going to bring more calm and relaxation and take some of that stress out of your box because what I'm getting here is that you're you're gonna get into a, a cluster F here of emotion if this continues. Okay, so not healthy get whatever ingredients you are needing here to get yourself off the pattern and 
create something else for yourself. You've got a divine counterpart here. Or you're you're getting to pairing with yourself and understanding that. Pairing with yourself and then coming out with this energy. Maybe a boss or something. Maybe something entrepreneurial. Something. But people are watching either way. So boss up, Cancer. Let's do this. You got this. All right. We'll just. Okay, not half of that. I'll take the one on the storm and pop. Realizations. We're going to read you that one. Okay. Sweet puppy dogs. Okay. 41 is the number of the card. Puppy dogs, puppy dogs. I'm almost finished, bro. Give me a hot second. Dude, bro. I don't know. Who's this baby puppy dog? Meanwhile, Snorri McSnorri trying over there. Okay. So often we are distracted. We turn through the day, too busy to see, to hear, to feel, and to think. The soul starves within us, but in a time of aloneness, we can come to moments of deep realization where we begin to understand so much more. Honor those moments when they feel, when they come within this time and space. The key to moving into more soulful and rich connection with yourself and the world lies in the more lonesome times. You will have moments of realization that are the key to your entire life taking a different shape in the days to come. And this great blessing born from the quiet stillness, the space around and within us in isolation. Okay, Cancer. I don't think I need to speak anymore on that. Okay, so honor that. Step into your hermit mode and come out freaking emperor. Okay? I love you. It's going to be okay. Until next time, keep your flame.